Hello, my name is Greg Wainhouse and I'm the Phil Segment Manager for Water for Burke UK. I hope you're all doing well during this very difficult lockdown. And like you, like many others as well, we're working from our home offices. Uh, we're here, most importantly though, to support and continue to engage with our customers. So I thought today I'd take a few moments to talk to you about our Type 8619 Multicell. It's a multi-parameter device that can accept a range of inputs and outputs. And we have a, a clear display on here, some buttons, a couple of status LEDs, and it comes in a couple of formats. This is the version that I've got here is our panel mount version, but we also have an IP6567 wall mounted device as well. The Type 8619 Multicell is capable of handling up to six modules within the device. And this allows us to feed in a range of inputs and outputs as the client requires. For example, we can feed pH, ORP, conductivity and chlorine as part of the standard system. Now we can also include um, digital inputs from flow sensors as well as analog inputs from level devices and pressure sensors. At the same time we can extract information out via the digital outputs and via the analog outputs as well as uh, an SD card here as well for data logging purposes. Now as well as that, we also now move into the digital uh, communications platforms as well. So we can have Ethernet and Profinet as an output from this device as well. So as you can see, Type 8619 is quite a flexible platform. And it's for this reason I'm able to work with a number of different clients with a number of different applications. For example, the latest one I'm working with is a reverse osmosis skid builder. And they want to be able to monitor conductivity at three separate points across the skid. Now for the multi-cell this is no issue because we can just simply add in three conductivity cards. But the client also wants the option of offering pH balancing before the reverse osmosis system. So we've offered additional pH card to be fitted in next to it and then they can take all that information out via analog output or even ethernet output as well. Now Type 8619 is much more than just a transmitter. With onboard facilities such as mass functions and PID control, we're actually able to turn this into a process controller. And we can use those signals then to control dosing pumps, uh, to control valves, or alternatively, we can take that pH measurement that our reverse osmosis client is using and use that to actually produce the control philosophy for controlling the pH dosing chemical. For companies that are just starting out to build small skids, the 8619 is ideal. Being able to provide process control functionality without having to have the knowledge of a PLC or a PLC builder on site. This is a great solution. Now the multi-cell that I have here today is an old demonstration device and doesn't have any advanced PID functionalities. But what I can do is show you the screen, show you some of the menus, uh, along with one of the conductivity sensors that I have here. Okay, so as you can see on screen now, we've got the uh, Type 8619 multi-cell connected to one of our conductivity sensors, the Type 8220. And as you can see on screen now, we've just got a very clear measurement of uh, 84 microsiemens. This is currently sat in a, in a calibration solution. And it's quite an old probe, so I would expect a little bit of drift, but uh, it's not too bad. Then what I've got next to it is I've got two uh, jar samples. One's uh, a bottled water and the other one is uh, tap water. Now I live in the Midlands in the UK and we have relatively average hardness for water. It's not too soft. Uh, it's certainly not too hard either. So hopefully you should be able to see a clear difference between the two. Um, what I'm just going to do now is just going to immerse it in the first solution. This is the conductivity sensor in the first solution there. And then what you can see is if I go back uh, one position, you can see now we've got a graphical display. The graph is uh, a range from 0 to 500 microsiemens. We can increase that. We can decrease that as per uh, the normal operating range. And then if I go back another position, you can now see that we've got a uh, multi-layer. Uh, you can now see temperature for the sensor as well as the conductivity. Um, and then we've also got a liters per hour at the top here. That's because we've got a, um, we've got a, a flow sensor that's also connected to the multi-cell as well. So we can see 438 microsiemens there. That's now stabilized. So if I now just remove the conductivity sensor, give it a bit of a shake and put it into the third solution around you can see now that the conductivity is much lower than the previous one so we can say that the 
the um, the previous solution was the tap water uh, and this one is the, the bottled solution water. Uh, what I can do now is just do, um, add some impurities into it. So we've just got um, we've just got a little bit of salt here, table salt. Just add that in. Add a little bit of a mix. Get the salt dissolving. And there you can see straight away that the conductivity range has gone really, really high just from a small amount of table salt in the water. So there you have it, the Type 8619 multi-cell. A very brief introduction, but hopefully it gives you some kind of an idea of the capabilities of the device. Now, of course, you can go onto our website and search for Type 8619, where you can find data sheets and, of course, manuals. You can also contact us via email and via the telephone, and you'll also find us on LinkedIn. Thanks for taking the time to watch. We hope to hear from you soon.